Hi everyone, we're here for our final TD SIG pop-up talk with Ila Coim Coimbra. Okay. Go. Hello everyone, I'm here uh, to, in this pop-up talk to talk about teaching inclusively. To me, teaching inclusively means bring to the classrooms, to the classroom, English classroom, students that are uh, that belong to uh, communities that are not included in society in general. And here I'm talking about LGBTIQ plus uh, community, here I'm talking about uh, disabled people, here I'm talking about the elderly, that despite they are, uh, including the course books, they're very stereotyped. Uh, I'm also talking about working class, I'm also talking about um, women in higher positions in society, although this has changed a little bit, but still a lot of improving, improvement should be made. Uh, and the question is, why should we do that? Why should I, as an English teacher, worry about including my students in the classroom? The key thing is, inclusion benefits everyone. So, if you have students that are members of these groups and they see themselves represented, they will first know how to talk about their own identities and their own reality in English. Second, they will realize that they belong to the English-speaking world. And it's curious because the way things are being taught nowadays, many students might not feel that they belong to the English-speaking world because they are not represented in this English-speaking world. And this is stealing from our students ownership of language. They don't think they are legitimate speakers of English. So when we include them in the classroom, we are giving them a higher chance to feel legitimate speakers of English. Secondly, because some, one might say, well, but my students is not, are not members of this, any of these communities, they are okay. And then I say, well, but these communities are there. And if you have faulty representation in your classroom and your students have this faulty view of the world, when they encounter differences, they are going to think that it's strange, that it's wrong, and that it's weird. And that's one of the root causes of bullying. So when we do teach inclusively, we're not only benefiting the students that are not included, but we are also bringing to our uh, students in general a wider view of the world, encouraging critical thinking, and actually making them a little bit more aware of how the world is and what society is and being much more uh, empathic, tolerant and accepting differences. So that's are the reasons that I think are valid enough to teach inclusively. Thank you. Agreed. Thank you very much.